away game to that it had to end eventually. It was probably the, the first 20 minutes that cost you that game today, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. Um, probably. I got the feeling yeah, we didn't start on the on the front yeah. foot. Uh, was also a bit unlucky because we conceded a wide area free kick. I think it was never never a free kick. Um, but it is like it is. So you should defend the situation a bit uh, a bit better. And it's it's my mantra. So small situations are always uh, determining uh, football games. And uh, yeah, Preston is a difficult place to go. And they have right now 13 games, uh, 13 points out of the last five games. They are in a really really good shape. And in this situation, uh, yeah, we had one player who dropped a bit too slow in, in this situation and out of this we conceded uh, the goal. Um, and it's difficult when you're back here at, at, at Preston and then yeah, it was an unbelievable decision of the referee to, to give a, a penalty uh, against us in this situation. It was a complete joke but it's like it is. Uh, they were anyhow able to use this chance and yeah, a few minutes later we got the chance to, to get back into the game and I think it was a more than the deserved penalty. You could even speak about a bit more than just the yellow card because it was a tackle with, with both feet. I didn't watch it back but during the um, game it, it looks at least a bit like this. And yeah, we missed the penalty uh, today, again a penalty, but it was um, yeah, more or less also a role model for, for this game. So it's more like um, we were there with 22 shots uh, on the target, create so many chances normally really really difficult to create chances here at, at Preston we were there with 22 shots on the goal yeah they had four shots on target and uh, three goals and the fourth shot was a strike out of 40 yards against the crossbar and out of this yeah they were able to score their their third goal so it was one of these days and uh, we have to accept it today those penalties they're becoming a real problem this season aren't they you've missed five out of six uh, is there anything you can do to try and put that right yeah, to speak with the players, to train it in, in training. I think uh, during training, uh, Marcus Lieberman, for example, scored, I think, the last 25 uh, penalties in a row. And I was pretty convinced that he scored today. But to be honest, I was, uh, I was annoyed because uh, when you miss so many uh, penalties in a row and then you play here in this condition, you got an two back and it's a, it's a, it's a wet pitch. You should be there with a, with a low finish and not in this height because this gives the goalkeeper the, the opportunity to save it. It was a brilliant height for the, for the goalkeeper. And, yeah, not to be really focused on this situation was uh, was anyhow annoying. So, in general, Marco, especially in the second half, he was there was a good reaction and, and worked a lot for this team. I was I was uh, pleased with his performance. But uh, yeah, in general, so like I said, it was not even a small situation. A penalty is a crucial situation, and yeah, you better use the situation, especially when you're in such a difficult surrounding and you're already back. Um, I was annoyed with the situation, but it's like this: we can't change it after the game. The um it, this squad is not used to losing games. I think there's only two defeats in 20 league games. So with that in mind, is it good to have them together and away for a few days just to kind of get over it together and, and build for the next game? We take it uh, like it is. So if I would have painted a picture, so it was more like uh, unbelievable weeks and, and months on league leader and big distance to the second position or third position or whatever. And right now we are here four days together. It would be outstanding to be there with a the win today and then to spend the time together, everyone is in a good mood. But when you want to be successful in, in football, it's never an easy way. So there are periods uh, during the season when you have the winter bit in the face. And uh, if you're honest, we didn't have it too often during the season. But of course, such a result is then uh, then disappointing because yeah, when you judge this game, I, I don't think we we actually because of the performance we deserve to lose this game. But we were not able today to to grab our uh, well-deserved reward and. Um, yeah, then uh, you have to respond in the, in the next game. It's of course disappointing. We will speak a bit about our uh, not dropping quick enough um, in, the, in the first wide area free kick situation. We speak about um, yeah the, our penalty situation. We don't have to speak about their penalty situation because I can't complain about anything. So Amy uh, tracked the lead and was never, never a penalty. It was a ridiculous decision. Yeah, and the third goal, yeah, what should we do? So we tried everything, defended men against men, and uh, out of this situation, we were able to have a strike out of 40 yards against the crossbar. The rebound, anyhow, uh, rebound, anyhow, was really lucky that Maguire gets it, but even this finish what, was not easy, but he was, anyhow, able to be there. It was a really concentrated finish. Um, well done, you just can say it was really an unlucky day for us, but yeah, we want to respond on Saturday, of course. To finish with, there have been some reports that you're close to signing a new contract with, with Norwich City. I'm sure yeah. the supporters would like that to be true. Yeah. It, it, is it true? So after after such a game and after such a disappointing result, I'm not too concerned about my future or whatever. So my uh, we have right now three games within six days and don't want to speculate or to comment anything about my future. It's the most important thing is uh, I'm there in this situation for the for the guys and help them in order to, to speak with them and that we recreate uh, enough and that we are prepared for the Bolton game. And that's all my topic. So in, in these days when we have three games within six days, there's no time for me uh, at all to, to think about my contract or my future. They're more important things and the most important thing is
is a return uh, back to uh, winning some points and that's what we're trying to do in Saturday. So there'll be no movement on that between now and Saturday then? Yeah, I mentioned uh, of course that um, yeah after after the festive period we started our our uh, our talks, but not during this week. There's no no time for this. So after this week we will talk uh, further on and then we will see what the outcome is. But today I'm not not interested in commenting too much about my personal situation. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.